Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome back to another leagues video. And in the last video, we did a little bit of skilling, we did a little bit of PVM, and we did quite a lot of clue scrolls. But we ended the video with the 90 construction and the full carpenter outfit completed. However, in this video, I'm gonna start it off by going back to PVM and hopefully see some purples in my name. So I guess let's gear up and dive right into TOA. Better get moving, I don't know what that means, but we did a time of 35 minutes, that's probably it, right? Lots of supplies left, didn't use Ambrosia, definitely improving. There's the purple, is it mine? It is not mine, let's see what does he get. Good luck, good luck, good luck, I'm gonna assume he needs Shadow, he's a mage build. Oh, another Mazori body, I keep seeing Mazori bodies, but it's never mine, man. Nine Dragon Man Helms, a bunch of rubies, a bunch of emeralds. At least that's coins. There we go. Back to back, let's take a look, 14% unique, I don't know if that's good or not, I want to see purple, and it is purple, and I want it to be mine, and it is never mind. Ah, unlucky, let's see what does he get. And he gets a fang, he probably has a bunch of these already, and we get an elite clue, and a lot of magic seeds. So, this is why I want to go to 75 farming through lamps, because when I get dropped like this, this is just... Free 99 farming just passively. So this is a really good to drop actually, even though it's not a purple. Nice. Okay. Getting pretty good at this. Let's see if we get back to back to back. But let's hope I get some like I would really like to see a purple in my name. I feel like uh, I'm a little bit unlucky when it comes to it. Is this one mine finally? It's open. I think this one's mine, right? There we go. It's open, so this one's mine. Please, Mazori top, Mazori bottom, no ring, no mask. Just no ring, no mask, and I'm happy. If I get another ring, we're going controversial. Please. No ring, no mask. I beg. Yes! That is huge! Mazori body, bro. That is massive. Yo! No way, bro. Ain't no way. There it is. Mazori body. Oh my god, we're looking good. I can go ahead and collapse my chest plate and make it into a fortified version as well. Oh man, that, that just motivates me to come back to TOA and do it a bit more, because this is amazing. So, if we chisel down this armadillo chest plate right now, we get four armadillion plates, hammer these in the body. We are now a proud owner of fortified Mazori body as well. So we got the helm, we got the body, we're looking a bit like a demon, not gonna lie. Just one piece missing to ridiculously broken range setup. That is huge. No! Wait, does that count as me dying or not? No! <laughs> no, not like this, man. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, well, if there is a purple, is it mine? No, it's his. Alright, let's take a look. Good luck, man. Basically, purple every raid, but then the death is a bit annoying that I died in the end there. But let's see. Can he get it? Oh, the ring. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> That's an oi, oi, oi moment right there. All right, I'm pretty sure he has to go. Uh, we're gonna absolutely... Oh, oh, I got a pet. What? Wait, what the fuck? I got a pet, bro. Two Mechans Guardian. What in the fuck? These are not boosted in leagues. Dude, he looks like an absolute demon. Look at him. Oh my, that is crazy. <laughs> that is absolutely crazy, by the way. Look at him. He's beautiful. And we got the points as well. Oi, oi, oi. Okay, so it looks like there's like a bunch of different things you can do in order to get all the different metamorphoses for the pet. However, um, my buddy just went offline for a bit, so we're gonna do something else for the time being. But damn, that feels amazing. This is such a cool pet, I feel like. And uh, once we unlock the little crocodile metamorphosis, I'm gonna be a very happy player. No way, I just pulled the BCP. I'm done with bandos in 104 KC. I got everything. I literally got everything, and we can then turn this into a Torva as well. Man, today, this, sorry for all the sounds, by the way, it's just Onyx Bolts going crazy, but today has been absolutely insane. Now, if you're thinking why I'm having Tumacan's Guardian in the inventory, you literally can't use the Crystal of Memories if he is out, which is a bit of a shame. But anyways, full bandos, guys, full bandos. Let's take a look. First of all, I'm gonna not make a mistake and make sure I equip full bandos. There we go, equipping full bandos. That's gonna be a 200 point task. Let me just grab a BGS as well, just in case. 
uh, if that's also something I maybe need to do. No, it's looking fine. And now I can immediately go and sacrifice my BCP in order to make it into a Torva plate body. I'm going to quickly take a look at how exactly to do that. But I think I'm going to need my Grog and I'm going to need my Bandos chest plate. So dude, today is going so well already. Melt down your Bandos chest plate into three Bandosian components. Yes. Okay, so we got 86 smithing. I can drink the grog, use the plate body onto the anvil, two Bandosian components, and this will make it. There it is, Torva plate body. First time ever in RuneScape, I'm equipping a Torva item. 200 pointer for that. Damn, what a beautiful piece, man. What a beautiful piece. And now my melee set's pretty decent. But I guess I would need to get an Infernal Cape next. But I guess before I do that, since I've already done so much PVM today, I think what I'll do is I'll do some Chill Slayer. Get this all the way up to 91, and then hope for some Cerberus tasks. Because if I do some Cerberus, I can get one of the few upgrades that are somewhat easy to get. I can get both Ranger Boot upgrade, or my Eternal Boots, or my Pegasian Boots. So all of them would be nice upgrades, so I guess that's what we're doing next. This is a quick reminder to let you know that if you are enjoying Leagues, you should probably subscribe. Okay, we decided to do a bit of Slayer. Here's King Kurask for nothing. Finally, a task that's actually decent, some basilisks. Uh, we still need to get a jaw, which is fairly rare, so let's see if we get lucky. All right, so here's the very first basilisk sentinel. Let's see if we get something good. And we get nothing. There's no way. We just pulled the basilisk jaw, which is basically the best drop you can get from here. And the only reason why we are here, we're just gonna attach this to the Need is Not Helm. I don't know if this is better than Torva Helm, probably not. Yeah, I think it's the very close second. I'll make this after the task. I mean, is there a reason for me to keep doing this task? I guess I can finish it off, it's not that many left. Olaf the Bard can help, he's likely to know a good story about basilisk jaws. Alright, I guess let's do that. Hey, there we go, should be that simple. Need is Not Face Guard. Is now obtained on the account. That's a 200 point task. That is beautiful. My new task is to kill some fossil wyverns, but I don't have the shield protection that I need for this. So I don't know how hard or annoying this is gonna be. But I guess a good part about this is I do have the soul stealer relic, so even when I do get hit, I tend to out sustain it pretty much. Hey, there it is, 91 Slayer, meaning we can now do Cerberus. I'm still gonna finish this task, simply because I don't have that many points to work with. But after this, it's gonna be time to hunt for some boot upgrades. No way. I just got Imbued Heart. This is so huge, by the way. There it is, the Imbued Heart. Oh my goodness. And I also have Fremi Unlocked, so this is basically... I can fully upgrade this, or saturate it, or whatever the word is. But that is insanely good. That is so solid. Just finishing up a task, and we got another King Kurask. Let's see if we can get the, anything else. Nope. Ah, there it is, Leaf Bladed Battle Axe, and this now completes Kurasks for us as well. I thought I would never get it, man, it seems uh, pretty rare. But we got it literally on the very last KC, which is absolutely phenomenal. We now have 720 points to find some Hellhounds that we can kill. Okay, so I got a task of Abyssal Demons, and I would actually do Abyssal Sire, but I want to get 99 Construction before I do Abyssal Sire. Uh, so just because of all of that, I'm gonna cancel it, even though it's a task I would like to do. Spiritual creatures offer us nothing. Alright, I guess when a task like this comes around, Skeletal Wyverns, I almost have to do it. Because, uh, well, at some point we're gonna need to get a DFS, so I might as well do it whilst training Slayer. Okay, we got a Granite Lex, which I think is one of the uniques you need to get from here. Let's wear them. Yeah, that's an easy task. Nice. Well, I am completely out of points, so... We have to do heal giants, all right. There is absolutely no way I've been doing ancient wyverns without a shield because, well, I thought with my regions there's just no way to get a shield. But watch this. Apparently, you can just buy the shield from the Slayer Master, so I'm gonna take a look if that's true, and if it is, I'm just a silly goose. But I'm gonna be a very happy silly goose because I'll actually be able to do wyverns a lot better in comparison to how I'm doing them now, because right now it's pretty damn annoying. I feel so stupid. There it is, it's right there, man, in front of my eyes, elemental shield. Is there anything else? <laughs> is there anything else she sells? I think we're good. So if I now go back, this should be a much more chiller experience 
killing these guys. And that also means that when I do get the Visage drop finally, I will be able to automatically make it into an actual good shield. So I thought I was completely locked from this content, but uh, yeah, never mind. We're chilling. Wait, this thing has a superior version? What the hell? I did not know this thing exists. Uh, but yeah, I'm still unlucky with the Cerberus task, unfortunately. Um, so I'm just doing everything that kind of comes around. And I got a medium clue scroll from that. Interesting. And then I killed one more and I got another superior cockatrice. Which uh, basically back to back right there. Which also gives me a medium clue scroll. I'm at a point where I have skipped dust devils a few times. But I really shouldn't be. So let's go ahead and do this task. This is superior dust devil. And I decided I will just do all the slayer with range. Because my combat stats to 50 mil. I can just do them all through pest control. So I don't need to really juggle my ancient gear or anything like that. But we get a dragon dagger for this superior. Here's another superior. And we get some herbs. Another superior. Oh, there it is. Dust battle staff. That's a new one. And... It's not a task. At least it's a cool item though. Another superior. I guess I would want to get an eternal gem from this, right? Nothing this time around. It's not every day this happens. You're out of the slayer task, but you get a superior. And uh, apparently we also got 35 million HP XP. Didn't know that one was coming. Let's see if I still get XP for this. Yeah, I still get slayer XP for that. Up to 93 slayer as well. The loot, nothing special. But at least we have some points now. And hopefully, we can finally get a Hellhound task. There it is, finally. This took me two full Slayer levels to get one task of Hellhounds. Let's go ahead and get some boot upgrades. My the Serb dies so fast, by the way. This is gonna be awesome. Oh, I got an elite task for killing it before it even spawned the ghosts. Okay, so doing just three Cerberus skills, I've basically done all the combat achievements already. I just need 75 KC, 150 KC, and one very slow kill where I negate souls six or more times. So I guess I'm doing this one now. Okay, now I wait. Okay, yeah, that should be it. Yep, and now all I need to do is just kill, kill, kill. Oh my god, wait. 16 kills in and we get the best possible drop for us. How is that not even highlighted? This is bis for our account. Oh my god, we are literally missing Mazori bottom and we are completely bissed out. Oh yeah, and uh, Zerite, let's not talk about the next unlucky streak, but that's crazy. There it is, Pagasians. Nice, 200 points. Back to back. Back to back into Primordial. <laughs> Wait a second, it's so late by the way, I can't like speak loud. 17 kills in, we got pegs into primordial, back to back situation. Let's quickly make those as well. Dragon boots, let's first wear those just in case. Make this. I hope there's a task to equip all of them, but anyways, I want to complete this boss regardless. There is no way. 26 KC, we get a smoldering stone as well. So only eternal missing and we are done. And there's even a task with this one, Smoldering Stone on the Dragon Axe. Oh, I need 85 fire making. Okay, I can't make this yet. Okay, there's 50 kill count. We keep on going. Ooh, first dupe is a Smoldering Stone. Ooh, that's 75 KC. We need 300 in total for all the tasks. All right, that was really fun. And uh, in return, we get 600 points, which is a lot of skips. So maybe we get the same task again. But even if we don't, right now, that's not even a priority because we got all the drops we wanted. I guess I would like Eternal Boots as well. But yeah, I'm going to do either Abyssal Sire or more Hellhounds. That's Pyre Lord Superior. We really just need Eternal Gem at this point And we have just about everything. Nothing from this one though. Another superior. There is actually hard to see the loot. I think I got nothing. Another superior. Another pyre lord. Why was this one bigger than the other one? That was weird. That was like a different version of a pyre fiend. And this is perfect. 142 abyssal demons, meaning I will do sire. However, I want to get 99 construction first because that's gonna help us out big time. Making planks has never been easier. Now just do this. And I'm gonna do about 1,500, I think. 
maybe 2000. 100 mahogany contracts completed up to 92 construction. And when I do 200 contracts, that is the last point task and we will definitely be 99 construction by then. I'm getting about 5 mil XP an hour and I'm not doing this the fastest way possible either. Good morning. I did about four hours of, no, two hours of construction, something like that, two or three. Uh, and we're now 99 construction. We also have a lot of points and we're also very close to completing 200 um, home contracts. So I might actually finish that whole thing up. But yeah, let me just quickly show. So we have completed 187 contracts. There is a task to complete 200. So I think I will stay. However, we have a lot of points, like a lot of points, and I'm definitely getting 50 million construction. I could chuck all of these into supply crates, or I could buy Hasidia's blueprints, which is literally just a skin for your home, and then spend the rest of the supply crates. Since I've already unlocked everything else, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I mean, just getting supply crates would be great, but I feel like it's 2000 points, it's a lot of points, but let's get it. Our home is gonna look beautiful, and it's a collection log pop-up, okay? It, it's not much, but at least it's a collection log pop-up, so I don't really know how this works. I guess I can just inspect it, doesn't matter. Let me get to the house agent, which should be in this house, I think, and we're gonna get ourselves a cape real quick. So you may be wondering why I did this entire grind uh, right now. And the thing is, I need to be on Ancient Spellbook when I'm doing Sire to cast the Shadow Barrage spell. Same thing for Leviathan. So I just want to have a way to teleport to my house. And the way I will do that is by simply speaking to the estate agent, ask him for a skill cape of construction and we will give him 100k and now i have unlimited teleports to house basically for the whole duration of the leagues so that is really solid there we go now i can just left click it and it's gonna get me right into the house however i don't really know how the blueprints work and i also want to unlock that so let me figure that out real quick maybe redecorate hosidia's house and just like that we now have a hosidia's looking house so let's go ahead and see how this looks and it looks honestly quite beautiful, I'm not gonna lie. So one of my next projects is going to be to completely fill this house up with useful things now that we're level 99 construction and we can afford to build everything up. But that's gonna be a story for another episode. As always, I do hope you guys did enjoy this one. It was one of the most ridiculous episodes when it comes to the amount of loot we actually got. So I really hope you guys did enjoy. And if you did, give the video a like, it helps me out big time. Consider subscribing, just check if you're subscribed. You can always change your mind later if you don't enjoy videos in the future, but for now, it would really help me out. That being said, I will see you again very soon with another upload. Have a beautiful day, be safe, and goodbye.